seven girlfriends for seven days of sailing, swimming and stand-up paddleboarding with yacht getaways. Don't have much planned except for relaxing and enjoying the sun. So we have arrived. <laughs> been settled in, we've had our safety briefing and we are on the boat over to dinner. So we're going up to this little restaurant up in the hill for dinner time. It's beautiful, we've had a nice swim, it's been really really lovely for our first day. So this is where we're going to have dinner, just up here, Woo, just up here. Super cute, nice and warm, looking forward to some nice fish, maybe some potatoes and watch the sunset from up the top. First morning on the boat, waking up, 7.30 in the morning, look at this sunshine. About to dive in off for a swim to wake myself up. Uh, which is on the other side of Hav Havar Island. Uh, we are just going to chill around the town for a little bit and then we're going to a wine tour or a wine tasting at an organic winery uh, about a 20 minute drive from here. So looking forward to that. in the winery and other things that they grow here is lavender so you can see down here there's just a whole field behind me um, full of this beautiful scentful uh, flower that is beautiful to have at home and even just standing here I can just smell smell the scent wafting through the winery it's really really lovely and I'm gonna get some to take home Now we've just got in our little uh, van down to Havar town. See behind, we've got beautiful stone walls and now we're going down to Hula Hula Bar for some sunset drinks.
two of our yacht getaway sail. <coughs> I've just been busy blowing up my pineapples. Had a beautiful morning swim around the corner in a private bay. Did some yoga, and we're ready to set sail for our second day. This is where I did the swim this morning. I brought the girls back because I thought they shouldn't be able to miss out on this because it's pretty beautiful. And then I did yoga over here this morning and there was no one up, just, just me. It was pretty amazing. That's why I love coming and traveling and finding beautiful spots like this. On our yacht getaways, and it's lunchtime. Got a beautiful spread of tapas and meats and salads, and then we're going for our afternoon swim here. dinner time when we've parked here in Skedro which is another little island and this is where we're going to dinner over here Ooh, over here it's the only thing here in this bay um, and I think they have three things on the menu so we're going over to check it out going over there in our little dinghy and then we're sleeping here tonight <laughs> before we take off for Korchula. Another beautiful morning, it's about 7.30 and we're about to teach yoga up here on the deck of the catamaran before we head off. Portula, have a look around, maybe go for an ice cream and then go for a little bit of a swim later before we go up to have cocktails. Be careful, uh, up. be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> How could I let you go? leaving Korchula now and we're on our way to Majet National Park where we're going to go searching for some waterfalls. Morning. 
We all took a nice little paddle over to the island there. I think we're going to call it Yoga Island and turn it into a big yoga chalet. Shala. We've arrived at our swim stop, 579. We're at Mayet National Park, where the island where we're staying tonight. Another beautiful day. We have just come into the National Park in Mayet. We're on bikes. I'm out of breath because we just rode up this really big hill and we are going exploring. the viewpoint look down here you can see the beach all the way down to the other side of the National Park it took us about 45 minutes and I would definitely recommend don't wear flip-flops and uh, bring some water because it can get quite hot up here So we decided that we would walk all the way down to the bottom for a swing because it looks pretty amazing. We made it. This is where we're going swimming. So sweaty from the walk, but totally worth the little hike that we did down. Thousands of spots that you can find uh, on this little island in Mignette, Mignette National Park. You'll just go for days. Here we go, we got a little bike, a little cart. <laughs> Miracle cart, we're calling it. Taking us all the way back. It's been a while. Another beautiful feast from our skipper, Balash. We all can't wait to tuck in. This is our skipper Balash. So if you Hi. are if you are going to come on Yacht Getaways, you need to request him because he is the most amazing cook, the most amazing skipper, and he's just made sure that our, um, the girls this week have had the best trip. So, yeah, the lash. <laughs> Last day on our boat today. 
all very sad that we're docking tonight in Dubovnik and sleeping on the boat for one last time. Coming into now our final stop on Yacht Getaway, coming into Dubrovnik, where we'll spend our last evening here and then we all say goodbye tomorrow. Sailing holidays have to be one of my favourite ways to travel. This is my, I think, my fifth time sailing. Uh, this time with yacht getaways and the other times with med sailors. And I can't highly recommend it enough um, if you want to have like a fuss-free holiday with your girlfriends or partners. Um, you have everything done for you, so it's just really easy way and fun way to travel. up here to a little lookout point. This is Dubrovnik behind us. Sunset's about 8.30 p.m. We're going into Old Town for dinner, but we just thought we'd have a beautiful stop and take a few photos. It's been a while since I let you come around. I could use your love. How could I let you go? Haven't seen you around you for It's the last day here on Yacht Gotaways and we've all packed up and we're ready to go home. We've all had such an amazing trip sailing around the Dalmatian coast of Croatia. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to give a little bit more of information in, uh, in my blog. So head on over to woodenlux.com for the full write-up. See you next time!